Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975. This is Nixie, the Glade Sprite. It's a brand new homebrew ZX Spectrum game. Uh, it was released this year and it was developed by Andy Johns. Now, I did not know this was a thing until I started pootling around on... I have no idea what happened to my voice then. Pootling around on my favourite ZX Spectrum homebrew sites. And this got amazing, amazing reviews. Listen to the music. As you can see, it's a 128K version. I'm not sure if there's a 48K version. Um, but why would I download that uh, when I can play 128K, which is obviously my favourite incarnation of the Spectrum. Now, basically, it's a brand new platformer. Uh, kind of think, you know, how, how should I explain it? Mythical? Old school? Elfy? Stuff like that? It does explain the instructions or the, the, the story on the actual title screen. But basically, uh, you're a Glade Sprite. Um, you, you're a guardian of nature and it's your job to protect the the Gaia Stone, uh, an artifact of power that brings life to the plants and all the animals that dwell within the glade or your kingdom. Um, although once a place of enchantment and natural wonder, the stone's power has become tainted by a, a mysterious evil force, transforming the glade into a dark and treacherous place. I'm just reading off the website, sorry. A uh, dark and treacherous um, place where um, the fair forest folk now fear to travel uh, of tarry too long. The only glimmer of hope lies with Nixie, that's you, or her, um, <clears throat> protector of the glade, and she, she alone must seek out the source of corruption and find a way to cleanse the Gaia Stone. Basically, it needs a good control of delete. Maybe, I don't know, maybe run like a McAfee on it or something. But yeah, didn't know this was a thing till literally this morning. Read some reviews, watched the video on the website, and basically, it looks absolutely amazing. Don't expect me to get particularly far in it because I just had to go to check the keys, but there are a number of objectives, which it does, to be fair, tell you on the screen, he says, which I've only done once. But right off the bat, very, very, very impressed, simply because of the music. There you go. Pause and read. People who do hunger games deserve our respect. To keep my favourite machine of all time alive, what, 35, 37 years after its, uh, you know, inception? Right, let's go. Um, play game, enter, because I think I know the keys. Right, so... you got left, right, jump. But jump is dependent upon, you know, your immediate surroundings. Look at the animation and the bad guys and stuff like that, which is basically the corrupted plants or, you know, funked up nature which does kill you now you've got three lives which is at the bottom to the right blooms i'm not sure what that does is that things you've saved or things like that and then it gives you your immediate sort of instructions which is find the gear stone absolutely lovely graphics if you look at it it's getting around attribute clash with that little put stuff in the foreground trick which is awesome as is the music now, if you have, look at the detail in the graphics. Oh, is it colourful, but it's really detailed. Two things that don't usually go hand in hand at the same time. If you played this, I'd love to know what you think. Like I said, I only just, and I like to think I'm moderately abreast of, hee hee, I said abreast, of the homebrew brew. Brew? <laughs> homebrew situation. Um, but yeah, this, this, this crept up. Maybe the animation in your sprites is amazing. Nice one, Nixie. Twinkling stars. So obviously it's it's a timing game. It's a platformer, but it's a timing game. So quite simple so far. There will be more obstacles on the screen coming up, as you would expect. This is the Gaia Stone. Now find the moon pool. <clears throat> that. Oh, was that the branch? No, no, that was the branch. I thought that hole, you know, gave me. Maybe there was something there. I don't know. Are there any secrets in this? I mean, if this came out back in the day when I was an ankle kid, this would have blown me away. And that's not to say there weren't impressive games on the Spectrum, but this is impressive. Right, jump. Oi! Watch your head. You can climb vines, watch. Well, only if you're supposed to be able to climb them. Not that one. The one on the far right. Run, jump, duck. 
etc. Look at when you land. And the water effect. It's lovely. Right, jump. Oh, shizen. You can press jump, and then once you're in the air, you can guide yourself. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, that does that. Leg it. Ooh, controls are so tight. So, cue is up. Now, got to time it. I want to get eaten by the Triffid. Yay! This bit reminds me of um, the Spectrum version of Meat Boy. Not saying that's a bad thing. Just, you know, the timing of the drop down. Oh, shut. Try not to swear. Try not to swear. It's a bit, it's, you know. Frisky with the lives is the phrase I was looking for. There we go. I cannot get out. And I've heard good music on the spectrum, but this is just making my eyes. My eyes? Making my ears even more awesome. The graphics are making my eyes even more awesome. Oh! Do I still got life? Still got life. No? Game over. Ah. Oh. They gave me a little tombstone with a heart and put it somewhere on a floating platform. Alright. I just. Ah. Oh. It's fantastic! Play game. Oh, do you know what? Why did it take me, not just this game, but why did it take me so long to start tapping into the homebrew available on this? Because some of the, you know, quality and production on these things is just phenomenal! Why it should be, I don't know. <laughs> but, there you go. <clears throat> Gotta remember that you, your, your jump is completely controllable. Like, oh, there we go. Like that. See, up, and then you can jump, as I said, in the air. Or you can just do the old school Jet Set Willy. You know, Alonzi. Point to the quote. Yay! Tis a thing of beauty. Oh, that's the one I got me last time. I'm assuming this is Spectrum only. And was it part of that thing they run every year to do, um, competition. I'm sorry, I can't talk and play at the same time as you can hear in my stammering and heavy breathing. Right, that's a bit. Why isn't, there we go, got me right dead centre. Makes sense. Leg it. Some sort of pesticide would be in order. Be a lot easier. See, gravity as well, you can completely control your descent, which is also a nice touch in making it supremely playable. Just wish I could get far and show you it. If I got a triple jump? I like the way it does start you on the screen. None of that bumping all the way back stuff. It angers me such. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry I'm crap at this. Hey, my defense is my second attempt. Ooh. Basically, it's a memorization of the timing of the enemies, isn't it, really? <laughs> right. Oh, so I can go right again. I don't have to go back. Is that it? That's it. Guys, yeah. Three lives, that's it. Wants to make a man out of you. Oh, woman. Oh, there we go. Let's see what the keys are. No, it wouldn't let me. Oh, okay. Right, left, down, up, jump. There we go. Pretty much what they were. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, Dave. You can do this. Come on, Nixie. Ooh. Sorry, talking and playing. Oh, not my bag, baby. Let's see on timing games like this. I've got to get this past that screen and I feel like I've achieved something. Now I know the way to do it. Because like I said, it's just trial and error. Which essentially is any good platform game, isn't it? Come on. Jump, Alonzi. Breaking out the front. Listen to that. Leg it. Oh, I always time it 
time, the, screw up the timing on that first one. Let them sync up. Right, there we go. Oh, I'm getting worse. My skills are declining. It's supposed to go the other way, skills. Come on, come on. We can do this. I have the tiger, Nixie. I have the tiger. No! I'm getting worse. I'm getting worse. It's like when you know. Remember when you used to scrub paper when you were writing your homework or something and try and throw it in the trash bin and you go, if I don't get this in, the world is going to end. That's what happens with me when I keep screwing up. Which is just, just one more go, just one more go. I'll get it the next time. I don't get it the next time. I give up. Yeah, not going to happen. Gotta get by that screen, even though it's probably the most boring thing for you to watch. But hey, we all gotta have goals, and that's mine. I think I need to make this my ringtone. I really do. Why is my hand itching? Yoink! Why is my hand itching? Don't itch, hand! This is like tense. Don't get eaten by the traffic. Yoink! inspiration was for this. There's a pinch of rod... Oh, that was on me. That was a weak mistake. There's a pinch of rod learned about the character. Let you go down. There we go. Yoink. What have I got? I've got one life. Oh, no pressure, Dave. No pressure. Right, so this one's safe. No, I do have to go left then. Last go, and then I'm going to call it quits. I really am going to call it quits. Sorry, the world's going to win, basically, that means. Right, leg it, leg it, leg it. Off we go. Can I go down there? Yes! Holy shit, this is amazing. Whole new game. Oh, I don't like the crap on the... F Ooh, hang on, no, I've got an idea. See? It rewards you for playing around. Can I... Have I collected anything here? A mushroom. What does a mushroom do? Apart from make breakfast tasty and delicious. Crap! Forgot about that tentacle thingy. Where am I? I'm back there. It makes me small. Did it make me small? I don't know. Where am I? No, it didn't. That's just... So much to flash. going to put me back, isn't it? Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what did I... Oh. I don't know what hit me. What hit me? Right here, here. I'm here. Yoink. Oh, what? The fall kills me, does it? Oh, that's a whole new thing I did not know about. There you go. Um, Nixie the Glade Sprite, a brand new homebrew game. Well, I don't know how brand new brand new is, but it's this year for sure. Um, yeah, I just got to say, give it, just look it up. It's on Google. Give it a go. It's, it's absolutely awesome and really impressive. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.